Hey, it's Jim, and today we're looking at the peak of lead acid technology. We're looking at a 24 volt, 10 amp hours, 450 watt scooter from Curry Technologies, and that is the iZip E450. This beautiful example of this scooter came into the shop because it wasn't working, because it had those fantastic lead acid batteries. And uh, I just put in new batteries, and those new batteries ran on right around $50 shipped. So the benefit of lead acid is it's inexpensive. The, the downside, of course, is weight and really uh, usable watt hours. So um, I have a battery over there to the side I'll show you a comparison of. But I, I just wanted to show this scooter. I just did some acceleration tests. Felt pretty slow, um, but I haven't even looked at the results and uh, braking, so I'll put those on the screen. I'll just compare it to maybe like 136 volt scooter, um, just for comparison's sake. Uh, I do have to say though, the wiring inside of this iZip is so much better than the stuff I've seen coming out of China, probably except for the Dualtron scooters. Um, you know, not any extra wires, everything fit in where the controller goes without a whole bunch of extra wiring and cramming and all that. And, you know, the battery itself came in a little uh, zip up cloth bag, so it's really easy to take in and out. Um, yeah, I, I was really surprised to see that, that quality in it, uh, you know, compared to what I've seen a lot of. So I'm going to do like I usually do. I'm going to grab the camera, come and check some of this stuff out and I'm just going to do a run right around the block. Now iZip when they made this said this would go 15 miles per hour and have eight miles of range. I've heard all over the map um, on actually how far these go. I'm only going to ride it about three miles. All right scooter comes to life there with the on off switch and a charge port down there at the bottom. Come up with nice a little folding mechanism to uh, you know just make it a little more compact when it's being stored. Handlebar is just a one height handlebar. Very simple three light with a twist throttle on the right and a little handbrake on the left. All right, we've got the Curry uh, chain drive there on the side. Got a little front V-brake, which is kind of interesting. It did a fine job stopping the uh, scooter. Looks like these are maybe about a nine or 10 inch tire. I'm not seeing an actual dimension on them, except a 3.0. Curry chain drive motor, 450 watts. Eh, you know, it's a motor. All right, just want to give you a little visual here. So that is the battery that's in this iZip. So you have two 12 volt, 10 amp hour batteries in series. So you got 24 volts at 10 amp hour, so 240 watt hours. This small battery over here is out of the Hilltopper kit. And that one gives you, it's a 36 volt, seven amp hour or so battery. So you get, you know, 180 watt hours. Um, 13 pounds on those lead acid batteries, three on the water bottle. So, and capacity wise, you actually get more range. You actually have more usable capacity in that little lithium ion battery there versus the lead acid. So lead acid's cheap, doesn't last long, doesn't recharge fast. Um, you know, most everybody that's comparing these ba batteries, of course, um, would go with the lithium ion on an older scooter like this, it's probably not worth upgrading, though it would be a pretty significant upgrade on this scooter. All right, I just wanna give you a couple specs on this scooter. Really, what I'm really interested in is the deck size. So we got a little over seven inches wide, and you know, it's not really made to stand on, about a little over 15 inches long. The handlebar height is 29 inches off the deck. The seat does not adjust, it's just there. And, uh, and we're going to ride it. Top speed, 15. I'm not sure if I believe that, but I am 175-ish pounds. And we're going to see what we got. So that chain drive whirs, right? It's just the way these chain drives are, you know. I mean, I feel like kind of kind of goofy. But here I'm going to stop. And, you know, so I would kind of give it a little help from a stop here. So the discharge curve on lead acid batteries is much different than lithium ion. 
So you get that drop, it's more like linear drop. And I'll be honest, I already feel, I already feel this thing getting slower. And I, you know, the distance tickers should be on the screen. You can see I haven't went very far. Um, yeah, they're kind of fat tires. <laughs> oh yeah. I just feel dumb enough that it's actually fun, you know. Sometimes the, some of the other sit-down scooters almost feel like they're too serious. This one you can't take yourself seriously. Might as well, I wish I was wearing a cape. You know, and if I was a, I don't know, anywhere under 12 years old, uh, man, this is this is super fun. It goes fast enough. I'd, I'd probably, it says 15, I'd probably say I'm probably, we'll see how good my speed, uh, my speed, speed sense is. I, I think I'm probably at about 12. I think maybe got up to about 13. But you know, like I said, I'm, I'm pushing the weight limit. You can listen there. There's already been a little bit of a drop. Things actually pretty funny. Fun. I'll, I'll put what the weight of this is on the screen. I mean, you could really drop the weight by about 10 pounds if you uh, threw in some lead acid batteries. I mean, some uh, lithium ion. And you could, you could probably get this thing to go a lot faster. Oh, we're gonna get some speed now. What do you think? I'm, I'm, I'm guessing. Put a comment below on what do you think my top speed will be. <laughs> oh, this thing's screaming. Well, I think I got up to maybe like 16 there. Just moving out. Hey, thanks for watching this little look. Uh, sometimes I get a scooter that comes into the shop and I need something and it can be something that I, uh, you know, can take the opportunity and while testing out, show you something, uh, sometimes a little sneak back in history, a little peek back in history, as it were, um, on the old E-Zip 450. Um, you know, kind of fun to ride around, hard to take yourself very seriously. You know, a lot of neighbors waved at me. I don't know exactly why, but that's cool. So like and subscribe, do all those things. Um, hopefully you don't take this all too seriously. I sure don't, but it was fun. Thanks. Catch the wave.